Now these look very interesting. Hi, Russ of Aquarimax here. Today I'd like to share two things with you. One, I want to share some interesting specimens that showed up in the collection of a German isopod hobbyist. And two, I want to share my plans for developing what may eventually end up looking something like an orange dairy cow. So first, let me give you a little bit of background if you haven't seen my other videos and just to refresh your memory. I, about a year ago, tried to cross Porcelio Levis orange with Porcelio Levis dairy cow. Um, I had crossed Porcelio scaber morphs before successfully and was able to produce my own orange Dalmatians from oranges and Dalmatians. It took a couple of generations, but I was able to do that uh, based on work that other hobbyists had already done before me, like Ryan Orr, who is the originator of the orange Dalmatian morph. So I had done this before with Porcelio scaber, and I figured it was worth a try. I could try to make orange dairy cows by crossing Porcelio Levis orange with Porcelio Levis dairy cow. When I posted the initial video saying I had put some young monkey together to try to start that, others posted comments saying, I've tried this before, it doesn't work. I don't think you'll succeed. And I thought, well, that may be, I may not succeed, but I might as well try it, document it and see what happens. So one year later, uh, and I also did an, an update video in between, but uh, one year later, there was absolutely no evidence that Porcelio Levis dairy cow and Porcelio Levis orange could successfully produce fertile offspring. There was evidence that they could mate, or at least try to mate, because I caught that on film, but they did not produce any offspring that, that uh, confirmed that they were able to interbreed. And so I concluded the experiment, separated the isopods, and uh, you know, that, that was it. I figured that particular avenue is exhausted. It's not working for me. I'm going to um, terminate the experiment. And an interesting thing happened. I got a comment from Eric. Eric is that hobbyist that I was mentioning in Germany. And I'll put a link to his YouTube channel where he's going to be posting uh, updates on his creatures. And hopefully we'll find out more about these very interesting uh, orange isopods that he posted. Basically he said, I keep orange levis together with dairy cows, and I found these specimens in the enclosure. He found one other in addition to these two in the photo, which I think is, is pretty cool. Now, when you look at them closely, they do appear to be Porcelio levis. They don't have the bumps on their skin like a Porcelio scaber koi, but in other ways, they really kind of resemble the Porcelio scaber koi morph, meaning the color distribution is very similar, and so I wonder if these are not actually Porcelio Levis dairy cow crossed with orange, but they may be a different mutation, more like the Porcelio scaber koi morph. And either way, very interesting what's going on here. And I really wish Eric the best in being able to uh, get more of these to reproduce and we'll see what they are. I mean, no matter where they come from, it's an interesting new morph uh, of Porcelio Levis. So I think that's great. And please check out the link to Eric's channel. And thank you very much, Eric, for sharing these and allowing me to share them in my video. Before I go any further with my plans, I'd just like to give a shout out to our Patreon supporters. You do a lot for the channel and I really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate all of you in whatever way you can contribute. Patreon is one great way, but just watching these videos and purchasing from the Aquarimax store and so on, lots of different ways that you can and I appreciate whatever you do to help. So now let me tell you what I have been thinking about doing for some time and I'm finally going to do it. Porcelio Levis Milkback is another interesting Levis morph and as you can see they're, they're pretty aptly named. They have kind of the wild type coloration in general but and then in the center of their body they have kind of a, a pale area and this pale area develops as they age and some of them don't look quite like this, but these are the classic um, milkbacks where they're generally just the wild type with this patch of pale coloration. However, there are also milkbacks that have a different expression where they look a lot more like dairy cows. You can still see the pale section in the middle of their body, but they also have more white. And so they look very, very similar to a, a dairy cow essentially even though I think you can distinguish them in general. There are a few individuals that kind of get 
really close and it might be hard to tell. At any rate, they're similar enough that if we are able to get these milk bags to cross with the Porfeo Alevis orange, we'll have something that, it, at least in many cases, will look a lot like uh, Porfeo Alevis dairy cow, but orange. Uh, and if, even if uh, they look like the classic uh, milk back but are orange, I think that would be a fantastic morph as well. So I think it's worth trying. Now, if you know of anyone who has tried this before, whether they've succeeded or failed, please let me know in the comments. When I did some initial searching, I wasn't able to find anything on this. So I think it would be fascinating if we could get this to work. I don't know if it's going to or not, but it is certainly worth a try. All right, so let's do this. These are the milk backs, and these are the Porcelo Levis Orange. I tried to choose pretty small Mankai because, as you will know if you kept isopods, they can be fertilized when they're quite young, and they can store sperm for multiple broods. So, let's see, there are probably some adhering to this paper towel, just making sure I don't dump any of those. Here we go. Should be 12 milk back individuals in here. So I'll release those. Here we go. And I'll go over that paper towel one more time to make sure that I'm not disposing of any that are hiding between the two level layers or anything like that. And now let's do the oranges. So I can see that there's some of these adhering to the paper towel. I think a couple of them fell off already. So once again, I'll double check that paper towel. But here are the oranges. So this is August 13th, 2020. Just for documentation purposes. And there we are. So we'll give it a try. I will document my progress in a few months when these are old enough to start reproducing I'll let you know how things are going and we'll see what happens and if you want to try as well I'd be fascinated to hear what you find out thanks for watching I post videos every Wednesday and Friday all on aquarium and vivarium pets please feel free to share rate comment and if you haven't already subscribe and then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video so what do you think about the Porcelain Levis milk back and Porcelo Levis Orange attempted cross. Is this going to be a success? Or are we going to have the same results that we did with Porcelo Levis Dairy Cow and Orange? Let me know what you think in the comments.